In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my closet. Well, and to be honest, I do share my closet with my husband, but it's mostly my closet. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside. our home a few years ago so that really gave me the opportunity to customize my closet and really design it how it was going to function best for me. I had a few concepts that were really important to me when designing the closet. The first thing was I wanted to be able to get all of my clothes in the closet. In our previous home we had a nice walk-in closet but it wasn't quite big enough for all of our clothes so of course I did have some of my off-season and special occasion clothes in some of the guest bedrooms. In this house though, I have been able to consolidate all of my clothes in here. Along with getting all of my clothes in the closet, I also wanted to be able to really use it as a dressing room. So I've also wanted to incorporate all of my accessories, bras, panties, all of that in here as well. And so you'll see how this really functions as a dressing room for me too. And then the third concept that was important to me was having as much out and visible as possible so I can see things, remember that I have them, and then when I'm putting together outfits, also be able to look across and come up with really good ways to put stuff together that might be harder if I was just trying to remember what was in drawers and things like that. So the first section of my closet that I'll share are the shoes. And you walk past the shoes as you come in the door from the bathroom, which of course is the main way I come in and out. And I just really like having all of the shoes here. I will point out in this wall of shoes that my husband does have a quarter of the space. He has a little bit of a shoe obsession as well. But I just like having all of my shoes basically in one place and it being near the entrance to the closet, of course, shoes are generally the last thing that you put on, so it just makes a lot of sense to have them right here as I'm heading out. And then, of course, they're also typically the first thing that you take off when you're coming in. So this just really functions well for me to have the shoes right here. Then I do have this great pocket door that goes into the laundry room. This was another thing that was really important to me when designing the home. You generate most of your laundry from your bedrooms and bathrooms and so it just made tons of sense to have the laundry room off of the closet. In our previous home it was actually on a completely different floor and it just wasn't as conducive to doing laundry. I do not gripe about doing laundry at all because this is so much more functional for me. This beautiful antique linen press actually used to be in the bedroom in our old home. And this is where I keep a lot of items like pajamas, athletic wear, uh, bras, panties, socks, and then clothes that really wouldn't do well being hung up like sweaters. And when we were designing this house, like I said, I wanted to get all of my clothing into the closet. And so we designed the closet to allow a great space to be able to put this linen press. And I love how it's the first thing you see directly uh, straight ahead when you walk into the closet because it is just a beautiful piece of furniture. Then, Because I have this corner right here, I thought it would be fun to put a dress form or something here that would not only kind of help soften the corner, but also give me a fun place to be able to display things that I either like to display or have really handy. And this dress form actually came from Pure One and I did check, it's still available. So I'll go ahead and link to this one. I'll also link to all of the things that um, are items that are still available because of course when we were building out the closet, um, the woodwork, we had our wonderful trim carpenter do for us, but a lot of the other stuff, the hardware and some of the 
furniture and accessories did come from places that um, still have those items available. So just check the description box below um, to get links to any of the items that are available. We've headed over catty corner to the linen press and dress form and we're in kind of the makeup vanity area. And so one of the things was I really had the vision that I could use this closet to, you know, come in once I've taken my bath, brushed my teeth, done all of that, be able to come in here and basically finish getting ready. And so I have this makeup vanity. This is also from Pure One. This is the Hayworth vanity, I believe. Um, and then I keep all of my makeup out. Now, I actually have a video on how I organize all of this and why it's like that. I'll link that below, but basically it's all about efficiency for me and it's all about function. This helps me get ready quickly in the mornings. I also have this really awesome lighted mirror and then a smaller lighted mirror that is a magnifying mirror. I did get both of these from Amazon and this really took the space from being like a pretty cool space to like an awesome space for me to be able to use. Then I have this ghost chair which actually also came from Amazon and I just really liked the look that since this is a little bit of a traffic pattern right here having this clear chair keeps it from looking too heavy as you walk past it. Then over here I've got this utility chest which is um, an old piece it's a very it, rustic industrial piece that um, I actually got from an antique show, but most of the house is rustic industrial, but I wanted the closet to be a little bit more glamorous, but I didn't want to completely make it not fit in with the rest of the house. So I thought this was a really cool way to bring in some of that industrial touch and something that is also very useful. So I store um, some of my extra makeup, some of my backups, but I also keep a lot of other things in here as well, like um, buttons that, you know, the extra buttons that come off your clothes, um, nail polish, uh, shoe accessories, receipts, just all sorts of stuff I keep in here. And then on top, I've got some things that I want to be able to have some quick access to or not forget I have. So I just put these off here. And then I do have this canvas prints, um, and I got this from Gilt um, from Oliver Gal uh, a few years ago, and it's just kind of a fun little fashion type piece that allows me to um, bring in just a little bit more contrast into this space. Then down here, we did have these benches custom built in. Um, I have two, one under each window, and this one is mine, and this is where uh, the lid lifts up and this is where I keep all of my cold weather accessories like scarves, um, hats, gloves, all of that kind of stuff. And over here is a really nice place that I can display a lot of my jewelry and handbags to keep them visible to me but also just make a nice focal point for the closet. So I knew that I wanted to have shelves to be able to put uh, all of my handbags and I thought it would be great to do it in between the two windows so that way they're not getting any direct sunlight on them. But I knew that I didn't want to have shelves all the way down, that I wanted something a little bit more interesting um, underneath. And so I did look for a piece of furniture that would fit really well in between the two windows. And so I found this mirrored piece of furniture at an antique show. I don't think it's actually probably all that old, but it does have a very vintage look. And I love that it's mirrored because then I display the jewelry on it, and so everything just kind of shines and looks really, really beautiful on it. In here, I do keep some older jewelry and some things that I'm just not as interested in wearing right now. Um, and then I keep some older um, bags and SLGs and things down below. But then on top, I do have all of my jewelry that I really want to make sure that I'm remembering um, displayed. And so I did buy a bunch of these black velvet uh, jewelry display pieces from Amazon um, to be able to put a lot of my jewelry out on. And then I also just have some other things, some uh, glass bowls and things that I just kind of set stuff, um, set of antlers that we spray painted silver to be able to hang some things on. Just fun, interesting ways to display my jewelry so I can enjoy looking at it. So now let's actually transition and start looking at the bulk of where all of my clothes are. So I do have this long wall of hanging space and this is where the bulk of my clothes are. So I have three different levels in this first section and then two sections all the way back to the back of the wall. 
Now the first thing that I have in this space is this really cool valet rod. Um, and I just got this on Amazon. I actually have two of them. And I use the valet rod so I can put my clothes out for the next day. And I actually have a video on um, how I get ready fast in the mornings. It's one of my early, early videos. I'll link to that. But this is one of the keys to me is every night before I organize my clothes and have everything ready to go so the next morning I can just put it on. So that's been a really cool feature to have. Then when it comes to all of my hanging space, as I said at the beginning of the video, it is important for me to have things out. And so I do have a lot of stuff hanging that sometimes people might fold um, in other cases. And in order to do that, I did make use of the fact that I have nine foot ceilings in here. And so I basically have clothes that go all the way up to the ceiling. Of course, you can't reach the clothes up there very well. So what I got were these really cool pull down closet rods that let you actually be able to pull this down to kind of head level so I can get stuff on and off from here really easily. Um, and I do that pretty often, but for the most part what I keep up there are things that are either out of season or special occasion items, things that I just don't wear that often. On the main rack right here is where I keep most of my tops that kind of go from workwear tops down to more casual fashion tops. So you'll notice that I don't really have things organized by color, although that might be aesthetically pleasing, that's not as functional for me. I actually organize things by type of top and then kind of do color within that. So from here it starts with a lot of my more workwear types of tops. I go from long sleeve to three quarter sleeve, short sleeve, sleeveless, etc. Then I get into cardigans and sweaters and things that are okay to hang up and then I get more into casual types of fashion tops. These might be things that are appropriate to wear on casual Fridays. Some of them, you know, are even a little too casual for that. Then down on the bottom is where I keep my basics. So these are going to be things that might be underpinnings to other outfits or they might be things that I just um, wear when I'm being super casual. So I kind of start with camis and tanks, have a couple of um, sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts, and then I get into my t-shirts. So then if we keep heading down, I have another valet rod as I mentioned, um, and on it I have the hangers from the clothes that I'm wearing today. I like having the second valet rod because a lot of times this is where I might put outfits if I'm planning out to what I'm going to wear for the week or, you know, if I'm packing, you know, I'll put other outfits and things on here. But while we're here, um, one of the things that does make a closet look a lot better is if you have all matching hangers. And so I did make the investment in matching hangers a few years ago and I decided to go with wood hangers um, in a dark finish to help kind of tie to my antique linen press. Um, these are a pretty inexpensive option that I got off of Amazon. They're less than a dollar a piece. They do come in other finishes, but I really like these because they have the slots for straps if you have something that might otherwise slip off. Um, and it also has the bar, so if you wanted to fold over a pair of pants, like if it was a matching suit or something, you could do that as well. For the most part, though, I just use these to hang tops on because then I like these kinds of hangers for all of my pants, skirts, etc. Um, with the clips, uh, these are metal clips so they don't break and it allows me to be able to um, hang things off and not have to worry about them slipping off or anything like that. So then in this section is where I keep um, a lot of my jackets and blazers and suits. So mostly this section is all of my kind of workwear types of things. I do have a few casual jackets in here. And then as we get back here, we get into skirts, dresses, um, longer items like jumpsuits and things like that. Down at the bottom, I do have some shoe containers because um, I do have some items from lots of years back. I'm a little bit of a hoarder. And then I just have more out of season or special occasion stuff. Um, kind of above. I don't really have that top row 
particularly organized um, because of those shelves pulling down. I do try to distribute the weight so no shelf gets too heavy and I learned very quickly if I put say all of my out of season jackets on it, it gets really heavy. So I just kind of distribute all of that up there. Then as we move back to the last section, I do have a pull out belt rack which is really nice. I've really gotten into wearing belts the last few years and so this allows me to be able to pull it out and see all of the belts that I have as options and then slide it back in when I don't want to see it. And then I have all of my pants and jeans. And so um, I have kind of my workwear pants and things back through here and then this section back to here is jeans. And then I just have a couple of miscellaneous items like robes and things at the very back. Now I do have um, my laundry basket down there, had some laundry hanging over that. Um, that was one thing that I opted not to build into the closet was an actual hamper or laundry basket. So I just use a um, plastic one that I got from Target so um, I can actually pick it up and take it out with me over into my laundry room around the corner and that's just super easy for me. So one thing I'll say about all of this wonderful hanging space is I did determine how much of it I needed basically by going through my old closet and the guest closets and measuring all the space that I had and then using that to help me figure this out. That does mean though that I don't have a lot of um, flex room to be able to expand my clothes. So I do have a pretty strict one item in, one item out kind of policy when uh, I'm bringing new clothes into my closet. So now I will go ahead and show you my husband's corner of the closet. He does actually have a space in the closet. And so basically this is his area of the closet. I know it's not nearly as much as the rest of it, but he didn't need it to be. And he also doesn't have as much hanging space. He does have a little bit more shelves and that's because that's really just what functioned best for him. So we have the double layer here where he has all of his shirts, t-shirts, thermals, polos, that kind of thing. Then a little bit more hanging space for some of his nicer shirts pants and his blazers and then he really uses the shelves for a lot more folding space for like his work shirts and things like that and then his hats and then just other things. He also has his own bench where he has some storage as well and he keeps miscellaneous accessories, cold weather accessories, things like that. Then as we go to the very back of the closet, this is where I have my full length mirror. And everyone really should have a full length mirror somewhere in their house. Closet's a great place, bathroom, etc. Um, so I just installed this mirror on this door and it does just hang over the door. Um, I have the hardware to hang it, but I haven't quite been able to convince myself I want to put holes in the door. Maybe I'll do that someday. But it's just a really convenient spot for me to be able to finish getting dressed walk back here, make sure I like how the outfit looks before I head on out for the day. Now you might be wondering, where does this door go? Well, this actually goes into my closet's closet. No, I'm just kidding. It goes into my storm shelter. So we do live in Oklahoma on top of a ridge that faced to the west. So when storms roll in, they come from the west. And so it was really important for us to have a storm shelter in a location of the house that was going to be quick and convenient for us to get to in the event of uh, inclement weather. And so having it near our master bedroom just made a lot of sense. So basically if I open this up, you can see it's basically a metal storm shelter um, that locks so we can also use it as a safe room if we need to. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my closet and how I've designed it so it can best function for me. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It's really helpful to me here on YouTube. Also, is there anything that you'd like me to make a video on? This video did come as a request from someone and so it's fun to know what you guys are interested in seeing. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Until next time, bye.